All right, today we're beginning our study of post-colonial Africa. We've got two case studies. The first you'll look at today, Nigeria, and then later this week you'll take a look at South Africa. Um, so for today, you're gonna start on page 50 and then go to page 45, uh, because page 50 is this overview of post-colonial Africa. Um, and then we'll go into our case studies. So at the top of page 50, you have a video reflection. You're going to use this new Scramble for Africa video to answer the question at the top of page 50. And then you have an Africa Today reading to complete this graphic organizer at the bottom of page 50. This reading um, discusses what happened after those independence movements you looked at at the beginning of this week. Um, so in some cases, we saw civil war, we saw instances of genocide, we saw Cold War hotspots playing out in post-colonial Africa. So this gives an overview of what happened after African nations became independent in the mid 20th century. Then you'll go to the top of page 45 to look at Nigeria after its independence. Um, this is similar to what we did last week. Um, if you are working alone, or not last week, I guess, before the break, maybe a week before the break. I don't know, is it September? Who knows? But anyway, um, if you're working alone, you're going to take on the perspective of one of these undecided citizens and look at all three options from that one citizen's perspective. So in the Nigerian options and undecided citizens packet, first you would pick who you wanna be down at the bottom is like all of the, um, individuals you can choose from, all real people. And then you go back and you read through the different options to decide which is best for you using that table on page 45. Now, if you're working as a group, you'll do this the same way you did last time, where um, three of you will present each different option. So three of you are gonna fill out this first column based on option one, two, or three. And then one of you as the undecided citizen, you'll prepare questions for each of those panels um, and discuss to complete the entire table. This last piece is very important. I'll be reading this closely. Then um, for as much time as you have left, no more than 15 minutes, you look at some of the cultural responses to dictatorship in Nigeria because spoiler alert, that's the outcome. Uh, so there's a quick video for you to watch. Um, how have Nigerians fought for human rights throughout history? Um, and you see that particularly in modern history, um, and I'm talking like 80s, 90s, even today with Nollywood, um, you see a lot of citizens' voices shine in their pop culture. So that's when you're gonna take a look at this, Nigerian cultural responses to dictatorship, where you see poems, songs, um, and artwork uh, that were created in response to the dictatorship that was established. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, there's an optional text attached there for you, and then you can um, browse the rest of the videos that they have on their website about Nigeria um, post-independence. Um, but again, 